guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm coming on to share something that I've been doing uh, probably about the last month, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it might be something that you might want to do. When I send out happy mail or packages, and everybody opens it up, and they're in these ugly brown boxes, and when you're doing boxes like this, because I'm a box hoarder, I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. <clears throat> But I keep all of these boxes from packaging that I've unwrapped and taken apart or boxes that I get in the mail from things that I've ordered and I save them when they're going to be a good size or potentially a good size for happy mail that I want to send to my crafty friends. So that's what I've done with this one here. I've saved it. It's quite a small box and um, <clears throat> I have measured the flaps of this box and they measure seven and three quarters of an inch wide by four and a half inches high and I'm going to decorate it and this is what I've been doing. So I'm excited to show you what I'm doing and I apologize for all the bad shadows. My lighting is real poor and we're getting ready to get some pretty severe thunderstorms here. So, I've got my paper cut to size. It's actually cardstock. And then I've put just a little decorative strip of cardstock on all four pieces of my paper. And what I'm going to do is just, um, I'm going to use wet glue to put these down because it's strong and it will hold. And I'm just using my uh, Tombow. Um, mono liquid and it doesn't take much just enough to get around the edges and then I've got this one and I'm just going to line it up on my box here like so <laughs> so that's all that I'm doing. And um, then I'll do this one because I'm going to put it on the opposite side. And I did line up my little pink strips so they'll, they will line up if you put them together. They line up. <laughs> so let me get this one down and just show you. And then I'll get the rest of them down off camera. I'll just pause for a minute so you guys don't have to watch me do all of that. We all know how to glue paper to paper, right? We're, craft we're paper crafters. We know how to do that <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> so if we can't glue paper to paper, then we shouldn't be paper crafting, right? <laughs> so, um, so this is going to be really cute. And I see a piece of tape from the outside sticking over there. And I'm just going to uh, chop that off <laughs> for a minute. All right. So let me pause and I'll be right back. So the cardstock on the inside flaps of my box are drying. So I've got it flipped over and upside down and I've got this white tissue paper here. And what I'm doing is I've put it over the base of my box because I know this will fit inside my box. And I'm just taping, bringing the corners in and folding them over and taping them in place. And I'm doing this because now I can take it off very gingerly. And I've got a perfect base, which is going to make the bottom of my box look pretty. But it also will come out real easily, too. 
So let me get that down in here. And so you can see now <laughs> that it's down in there real well. But um, actually, I'm going to take it back out. I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to take this back out for now. <clears throat> and, um, and I'm going to decorate my flaps. And one of the things that I've done is I've created this happy tag that says happy and all these beautiful colors and it goes with my papers I thought so I'm just going to put some ATG gun adhesive on the back of that and I'm gonna do a lot <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop it right I'm gonna try to center it right on the flap of my box So, looking cute, right? And, you know, it's nothing grand and glorious. It's just sweet and simple is all that I'm doing. And then I'm going to flip this over, um, flip it around, and then I've got this other tag that I made that's got a cute little snail, and it's cut like a postage stamp, and it says snail mail. And I did all of this with my Cricut. And I'm just, um, and I did it with the print and cut feature as well. And I'm going to put some adhesive on that and pop that right there. I'm going to pop it right there. Now, I also already pre-tied this little ribbon that's this uh, um, khaki color and because um, it matches the background colors. I'm going to pop a little hot glue on that. And I'm going to put it right here. You don't want to, you know, I'm not going to do decorate to the extreme because obviously this box is most likely going to be thrown away unless they decide to recycle it and send it to somebody else so that's fine too and that would make me very happy if they did that <laughs> so but that's what I'm doing so you can see that and then I did happy from the seven drawers I've cut uh, cut him out and I'm going to put him over here is what I'm thinking so I'm just going to put some ATG gun adhesive on him and get him popped down there that's a cute place for him and then I have one of these other bows that I've tied and I'm gonna pop some hot glue on it okay glue gun spider webs and I'm gonna pop it right there on that one and then on the opposite side now that needs some decoration I do have <clears throat> this glittered heart that I cut out a glittered cardstock and I'm <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna put it right here and because the glittered cardstock is heavier cardstock and sometimes it has a hard time adhering to things, I'm just going to pop some hot glue on it. I popped quite a bit of hot glue on it. And I want to just try to center that up by eyeballing it. So, that's super cute. 
and now I'm just going to pop my tissue paper back in here because I've got it all decorated really pretty. And I know Easter has passed, don't judge me, because I'm sending out an Easter um, rack. This is a happy rack that the person that I'm sending this to has no idea that it's coming. And so it's just a random act of kindness that I'm doing. And I also know that she doesn't do YouTube videos either, so that's okay. I don't mind that, but she always sends me beautiful work, so this is a special little rack for her. I've made a little flip book here. Well, it's not little. It's quite large, <laughs> and I'm going to pop it in here. Now, I know it fits because I had it in here earlier. You just have, I have to get it the right direction around, and it goes like that. So, I'm doing that, and um, then I've got one of my altered Easter egg cartons that I've made her, and all of these things are, everything that's in everything here is Easter themed, so she'll have Easter things for next year. Then I made a cute little box on my envelope punch board, and I got that filled with some goodies, so I'm going to pop that in there. And then I have a water brush pin that I'm sending her with a tag on it that I've made her as well. So I'm going to pop that in there. And then the only thing I have left to do is put my little note in for her. And I will do that off camera. And then what I do is just fold in the flaps of each side like so and I'll put some packing tape on there and an address label and we'll be good to go and I don't want to do it all yet because I want to make sure my glue's all good and dry first so she gets a super happy surprise when she opens the box and it'll be fun and exciting for her, or at least I hope so. So I hope I've inspired you guys to decorate the inside of your boxes too. Like I said, I've been doing this for about a month. I don't do it with everyone, but I do it with most of them. And what determines if I do it or not is if I have the time or not. If I'm running late on getting my package out, then I don't do it. But... If I've got it, if I've got a day, I'll do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I really hope you give it a try. So we'll talk again real soon. Cheers.